Hey guys, no here. I know it's been a minute, but yeah, I did get my hair cut. Eh, it's okay. But uh, I'm here actually at Nine Mile Run. It's a little close to West Run where we were fishing last episode. And I don't know, I just kind of want to check this place out. There's a creek that rolls all the way into the back here. And I want to get a look at that. So uh, all right, this is going to be our first stop right here. I'm going to be throwing this little uh, kind of beaten up pink tail grub on my samurai combo. The goal is not really to get a big fish, just to get some fish. I went down to Carnegie Lake the other day, caught some nice sized catfish out of that, but I didn't record it, sadly. Uh, I wonder how deep this water is. Because it doesn't look that deep. Oh, I just lifted that over. Whoops. There we go. I don't know. There's just no really good feasible way down this. So I gotta work with what I have here. What I have here is a bunch of leaves. This cover might be a little too thick to fish in right now. A lot of debris, a lot of garbage. Over there, it's looking a little nicer. The creek does go further back and we will be exploring that. Just wanted to try this out first. Yeah, not seeing much. Um, hmm, tell you what, I have my micro combo here have a bit of hot dog in my pocket we're gonna put a little bit of hot dog on our micro combo and we're just gonna drop it down there like look at the size of this hook look at this thing it's so little but fortunately that's what we need so we're just gonna Let it hmm. Let's see what happens. I'm going to try casting it. Yeah, that might work. That did not work. I think there's some little fish down in those rocks right there. Let's see if we can't stir something up. Nothing. Man. All right, well, we're gonna move down a little bit further then. Cut that pool we got cool right here. Something swanked at the weight. It's not the bait. Something took it. It was too big for him, so he spat it out. Oh my god, you guys missed it. There was a big freaking snake right here. Oh my god, I'm so mad I missed that. Oh, he swam right in. He's gone now. Damn. Well, I made it to a spot that looks decent. Enough. Man, I hope he comes back out of the water. That was really cool. Man. That thing was huge. All right. I'm up on the top one. If this doesn't work, I might just end up throwing on a spinner because that might just be a better option.
I don't know, it seems like a pretty good hole. Okay, so we're not going to continue on that way because there's a fucking hornet's nest right there. And I'm not bothering with that. So we're going to fish the mouth of the nine mile run because damn that. I actually just found something really, really cool and I got to show it with you guys. Look at him. Oh, look at the boy. He's so little. When holding frogs or toads, be sure to hold them close to the ground because they do like to jump. And if they jump from too far, far up, if they jump from too far up, it can't hurt them. So just make sure you hold them close to the ground, and don't hold them for very long because amphibians, like their skin is very permeable, and you will leak toxins into their skin. Oh, he's so cute! Oh, he's so little. Bye, little guy. So I've been out here for a little bit, and I finally I wanted to make sure to catch a fish beforehand, and I finally got one. This is a sauger, a close relative of the walleye. Very beautiful fish in my opinion, a little bit more beautiful than the walleye. Um, definitely lip grip these guys, sharp teeth, really sharp teeth. I caught them on that little spoon over there. But yeah, finally glad I got one of these bad boys. It's been a minute since I've had one and we're just gonna let him go now. Thanks for playing little bud. Bring along your friends. And he's gonna swim off. All right, I wanted to catch one fish before I made sure to record. I have my big old catfish rod out waiting to get bit by something. But yeah, that was a that was a very pleasant surprise. Very, very fun. Sorry for all the water. There's really no other way to get out this far. But caught fish. I'm happy. Oh, caught on fishing line now. Must be a bird's feel. Anyway, we're gonna get back to it. They usually like to travel in schools. So I'm thinking we can get another one. Eventually. I don't know, man. That sauger might be the only fish in here. Wrong again, idiot. There we go. There's a fish. Oh, it's a white bass. No, I think it's a wiper. I think it's a wiper. I think it's a striped bass hybrid. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. I don't want to lose this fish at all. So I'm going to back up slowly and I'm going to get it in the net because I don't want to lose this fish. This is a really cool fish and I don't want to lose it. This might be a first. I can't tell if it's a wiper, but I think it is. So we're going to walk him all the way over here, try to get him to not hit my line. We grab my net. Good, I still got him. I'm just gonna bring him, bring him into the net. Gotcha. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this might be a first for me and the channel. I believe this is a white bass striped bass hybrid. We might have a wiper bass on our hands right now, and you're not gonna know until post edit. Quiet. Look at this guy. Oh. Any cool? Oh, what a beautiful fish. Oh, look at the gorgeous yellow eyes on him. I don't know much about white bass and striped bass, but I do know that striped bass are saltwater and white bass are freshwater. I'll just put a little information thing at the end of this when I release them because I actually don't know much about these guys. But awesome fish, fun fight. We are gonna let him go. See ya, buddy. <laughs> All right, that was cool. That was really cool. That was really, really cool. That was really fun. Oh my God, that was awesome. Really excited that that happened. 
I, I think it's a white. It, I think it's a wiper. I think it is. It might just be a white bass. But if I had to guess, I think it'd be a wiper because he's a little chunkier. He's really chunky for a white bass. But what do I know? Not much, apparently. I don't know. Fun fish. Glad I got that on film. Did not want to lose him. And I didn't. So good for me. And we get back to the grind, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it's all about. I can't tell if the wind is blowing the catfish rod or there's a fish on the catfish rod. Yeah, it's moving with the wind. He bit that really close to me too. Wow. Well, that was fun. <laughs> that was great. I'm excited now. I gotta go home. I gotta look that up now. I gotta find out. This is not gonna lie. I never even expected to catch one of those. So let me find out what it was. Because they're both in the temperate bass family. They're pretty similar fish. If not size, then color. Straight bass get before. Huge. Like, big fish. Anyway. I need to talk about that fish in the next five minutes, otherwise the commentary will run dry until we get another one. No, I'm just kidding. I just didn't want to keep fishing the river because I didn't. Oh, what was that? I saw a tail. I saw an itty bitty tail. But yeah, no, I just didn't want to keep fishing the river because I didn't want to like bore you guys with the same small mouth and like. That was it. That was pretty much it. That was. It was that the green sunfish and the black crappy that I caught on the channel for the river. But yeah, I didn't. I didn't want to keep boring you guys with that. I wanted new species of fish, and luckily we have that. That's two new species for the channel, and probably one for me. So. We're living. We are living. L I V I N. I like that movie. Anyway. Hmm. I might switch up, but I might not. Just because this is a very general bait, this is very effective for a lot of species. So I might not switch up, but who knows? All in the power of the rusty spoon. He's only a little rusty though. He's completely rusted, thankfully. You never want to use completely rusted lures or hooks. Like, the rust isn't on the hooks, which is why I am still using this one, but don't use, like... Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. That's a big fish. Oh, Jesus. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Oh, I think it's, a, it's just a smallmouth. Oh, no, it's another... It's another mystery bass. Let's get him in the net too. Just cause. He's a fighter. Yeah, we're gonna get him in the net as well. There we go. There's another one. The refish on the board for today. Can we make it to five? Put you guys on the floor so you can see him. 
All glory to the rusty spoon. Oh, oh. Well, he's gone. Damn. Oh, well. at least we get a good shot of him. That's all that matters. Let's just get a good shot. And I dropped my freaking rod in the water. Oh no, it's gonna make that grinding sound a lot now. It's just gonna spit up water. Dude, look at this freaking lighting. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. One eternity later. Alright everybody, that's gonna be the end of the episode. You know what? Despite everything and like not catching a fish for like two hours, I'd say this is a pretty good success. Grab Sauger and two unidentified, maybe hybrid or maybe white bass fish, which I'm really happy about personally. And I just hope it's enough to like get this video to like 10 minutes maybe. I don't know. But please like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you'd like to see me catch more fish, and comment down below what you think I should try. Because I mean, the almighty rusty spoon seems pretty powerful to me. I might just have to stick with that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And good night, I guess.